Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to find the pH of our solution in our strong acid, strong base titration once we've added 30 milliliters of NaOH to 50 milliliters of HCl. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to find out how many moles of each thing we have here in our solution. So we can start by going 0 0.1 molar times for the NaOH, um, 0 0.03 liters. And this is going to give us 0 0.003 moles. OK, perfect. And that was NaOH. All right. Uh, for HCl, let's find out how many moles we had. We had 0 0.2 molar, 0 0.2 molar times 0 0.05 liters. And that's going to give us, that is 0 0.01 moles. Uh, and that is HCl. Okay, perfect. So now we know this. Uh, what we want to do is we want to write up our chemical equation. So we're just basically mixing these two. So we can say we have just, here we go, HCl plus NaOH. Um, and these are both uh, strong acid and strong base. So they're both going to completely dissociate and we're going to end up with NaCl. Those guys are going to get together. And then with the leftover H and OH, we're going to get plus H2O. OK, cool. So now what we can do is we can make a table here for initial concentration, change, and our equilibrium concentrations. So instead of using molarity, uh, at this point, it's actually going to be easier for us to use the numbers of moles we have here. So let's go ahead and start filling this out. Uh, we can just know right away we're going to cross out water. Um, and we're going to have 0 0.003 moles NaOH. 0 0.003. Uh, 0 0.01 for HCl. 0 0.01. And this was 0. OK, so what's happening here is these are reacting in a 1 to 1 ratio. So one of these is going to be the limiting reactant. Um, and that's going to be the NaOH because we have less of it. So Basically, we're going to be able to react 0 0.003 moles. And here again, 0 0.003. And here we can add, we're going to be getting 0 0.003 moles of NaCl. OK, cool. So when we subtract this, we'll have 0 0.007. Here we'll have 0. And then here we will have um, 0 0.003 moles. Okay, cool. So now that we did that, um, it's going to be in our best interest to switch back to molar. And we could do this, right, because these are all the same ratios. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we want to switch back to moles per liter, um, and we are going to be looking at HCl. So if we just go do that, we'll have 0 0.007 moles times, or sorry, divided by, um, now we have 0 0.08 liters, right? We had 30 milliliters plus 50 milliliters, that's 80 milliliters. 0 0.08 liters. And when we divide that, we are going to get, um, that's 0 0.0875 moles per liter. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do is we are looking at, in their beaker right now, this is that once it's all mixed and it's at equilibrium, this represents what's in the beaker, so we're not going to have any NaOH left over. We're going to have some HCl, and we're going to have some NaCl, and we're going to have some water. So uh, we want to find the concentration of hydronium ions, and those are obviously going to come from the HCl. So if we go and write our new chemical reaction for what's going on in here, we have HCl plus, well, the NaCl is not reacting with anything, so that doesn't really matter. So it'll be plus H2O. And we're going to get a full dissociation again into H3O plus and <clears throat> Cl minus. There we go. So now let's look at this. We know that the, the HCl in our beaker is 0 0.0875 molar. And because this is all one-to-one -one molar ratios, um, that means that this H3O plus concentration will also be the same, 0 0.0875 molar. Okay, awesome. Um, now what we can do is we know pH is the negative log of H3O plus. So the pH in our beaker is going to be the negative log 
of this concentration, which is 0 0.0875. And when we do that, when we enter this into our calculator, um, we are going to get our pH is now going to be equal to 1.06. Awesome. I'll see you in the next video, and we'll do the pH when it's at the equivalence point.